It's monkey business in the midnight hour. And I'm sultry TJ Desiree. <laughs> bringing all of your geeky goodness to you throughout the course of the night. What is it going on here? What am I doing? I don't know. Somebody You're channeling your out. <laughs> You're the channeling sun is... <laughs> your inner Barry White or something. Oh, yeah. With a baby, yeah. Yeah. Neptune, Neptune flytrap. <laughs> Neptune <laughs> flytrap. <laughs> what? Did you ever d- watch Venus flytrap on WKRP? WKRP. In, no. In Cincinnati. He was the nighttime DJ, the cool oh. guy that sat in the dark. God. <laughs> There's the times where Chris should be in the dark. Mm. Uh, Chris is always in the dark. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Hi guys, it's Monkey oh, Business. Should we stop talking about you now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> seriously, what would be different about any other day? Oh well, you know. All right, and this is another week of Monkey Business in the, and I am your host. Today Chris. is definitely Monkey Business, and that is Tanya, and over there is Billy. Hi, and Dolly is here. Hello, and Becca is here. Hey. Three in a row. Three in a row. Becca has been in the studio. We have not figured out how we got so lucky, or, or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. Depends on so. who it is. And last but not least, my bouncing baby boy is yet again in the studio with me. It's this, the glory of summer vacation. He's able to come out and visit more often. Da, da. I am so going to swatch you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't show up for the next podcast, it was Chris Frank. Yes. He's you're being accused of murder before I even commit it. I see. It was his pre-crime. We're doing Minority Report now? Yep. Okay. The new show was great. How we doing, guys? Good. It's uh, as we're recording this. It's uh, San Diego Comic Con week. Woo-hoo. I know it's probably you know it's going to be like a month or so after you actually you know we. That's broadcast my dream this vacation. One. That's one place I really really want to go someday. I would love to just to see it, just to see it and be a part of it for once. But I've heard so many things about SDCC over the years. Like the, there's it, too many people. It's gotten to be so huge. I mean, I wonder if it's maybe gotten too big for its own britches, as it were. Did you see Is that it, um, the comic store from like Denver? Opted out this year. Oh yeah, year. like oh, yeah. the first year, first mile time in forty. Yeah, mile yeah. high for the first time in forty seven years is not going of to San just Diego. The, all the issues that they had last year. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is I know San Diego has kind of set itself up as being the hub of all nerd media. The mecca but of nerddom. It is. It's the mecca of nerddom. But really, but has has it gotten too big? Has it? I think that's what it's happened. I mean, I know New York does not have a lot of the same complaints about it. New York has managed to kind of hang on to the whole, the idea of the vendor floor, the panel rooms, etc. You know, and being more of a comic book convention, uh, even though it's a monstrous size, um, but has San Diego gotten gotten too big? Well, I think they were saying they're they've like people haven't even gotten over to that particular spot in previous years because mm-hmm. there is so much to do and so many things to look at, mm-hmm. and which is a they, great problem to have, but by then no they doubt. Like they had like eighteen thousand square foot or something for Denver Mile High uh-huh. Comics or whatever, and they're like, we didn't see. Half as much traffic as they would you do in previous years. That's in, they had eighteen thousand square. I think f- th- I I want to say something along those lines. Just I, for that uh, one vendor, I believe so. Let me look it up before. Look, yeah, look that up. I, Go ahead, Billy. I've heard that, and one thing I, I like as someone that uh, does a ton of panels there, a writer by the name of Mark Evanier, he's a okay. comic book and cartoon writer, mm-hmm. uh, says that people say it's too big, but you can almost create your own convention just based on your likes if all you want to do is oh, comic 70 books. foot space how many it was um the 70 their um one table booth in 1973 cost them 40 dollars to rent for the weekend mm-hmm. when they received their booth rental for last year the cost for their 70 foot of space had been raised to over eighteen thousand dollars. All right, I so that's I where the eighteen thousand was coming from. So their seventy foot space was worth eighteen thousand dollars. It says oh what made Lord. the situation nearly impossible was that the foot traffic in the exhibit hall declined dramatically last year. Even if it's at its peak Saturday afternoon, our end of the building, which was primarily comics, was uncrowded. The San Diego fire marshals were partially to blame, blame as they put much stricter cr- controls on the number of badge holders allowed in the building at any given time. Mm-hmm. That might not have been such a bad idea, except for amplify the <clears throat> harm it already caused by an incredible proliferation of off-site events that are now being set up for the upwards of eight blocks all around the convention center. Phew. Eight blocks around the convention center. <laughs> oh, my God. It says, when you can see Game of Thrones, Pokemon, and hundreds of other exhibits across from the convention hall for free, why bother going into the hall? And and Fair that point. that's... The, Definitely a fair point. It says, to summarize, we've experienced rising costs while at the same time foot traffic in our booth plummeted. There's never been a good combination. Um, He truly have loved the experience of exhibiting at San Diego Con, 
so he would have ignored those two major obstacles and still renewed his booth. The final straw, though, was the indifference that the um, SDECC management to the fiasco that they had endured at the beginning of last week's show, last year's show mm-hmm. when the freight handlers that they had hired failed to deliver our comics to our booth. Okay, so, so they couldn't even set their booth up. They couldn't even, you can see the picture of the uh-huh. empty booth. <clears throat> their truck was in line at the convention marshalling, marshalling yard at 6.30 on Tuesday morning. At 9 p.m. that evening, with almost all the other vendors around them unpacked and completely set up, they still didn't have their 40,000 pounds of freight. Was there a color run in San Diego? Is that could what was happening? It could have been that they were taking <laughs> logs out of the river. I yeah. They had um, 12 workers scheduled to help them set up the day, but all they could do is sit around all day in our wow. totally empty booth. Um, no time during their ordeal did anyone with the com- from the convention management stop by with an apology, an explanation, or even just to commiserate. I'm like, th- this. I, my heart like, just huge. goes out to them be- being in regards to that because right. I know us at Flower City Comic Con, we're, we're much smaller scale than FC- <laughs> um, SDCC, much <laughs> much smaller scale. Just a little. Just a little. But we make sure at least th- with the, our staff of 10 or 12 or whatever uh-huh. that we're going around and checking with all the vendors. And- we had a total staff of, st- of board staff and volunteers. We had 33 this year. Yeah, so I mean, and and I know the vendors are like, oh my god, the the staff is helping out. We, yeah. You're helping move the cars out yeah. and things like that. And I and I know, yes, trying to marshal and get stuff in, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whatever. But I just can't imagine. Well, that's that's how big SDCC has become. Now, Bill, you were making a point. Sorry that I no, jumped that in just, there, but I just it's it's why I, I also want to p- piggyback onto some of your comments in, in that uh, you can almost. Create your own convention based on your interests. If you're only if you only want to see the TV stars, you can do that. If you want sci-fi, just do and just for four days, only focus on going to the comic book vendor room and mm-hmm. and you know look for the comic books you're looking for. But on the other side, though, you said it's co- it cost eighteen thousand dollars. For As a, opposed to seventy dollars, whatever it was, forty dollars in nineteen seventy three. Forty dollars. Now, granted, there should be a much wow. higher rate, but eighteen thousand wow. dollars is insane. How is someone supposed <laughs> to make that back? I, I mean, I can have imagine. fun looking at the and, comics, and, but <laughs> and the year before, yeah. the the their rent for however mm-hmm. many days it was mm-hmm. was sixteen thousand five hundred. So, so it's an additional fifteen hundred. Unless for this you year. unless you're selling, unless someone buys a copy of. Amazing Fantasy 15 or something from you, which is the first appearance of Spider-Man. Right. It's going to be, I mean, maybe it won't be hard to make it back, but it seems like know. it would it be. Just, I mean, I'm looking at it, looking at the pictures, and I, I don't know. It, they had a 50% off mm-hmm. comic sale on there from uh, their America's largest comics dealer, Mile High Comics. Mm-hmm. We're, we're um, feeling quite the bargain right now. How, how about we invite fees? them to Rochester and I, charge them seventy dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I charge, I charge them for two booths. That'd yeah. be like what five hundred yeah. at ours. You Something know? like that. Guys, come set up, set up thirty feet, and for for five hundred bucks, mm-hmm. we'll have but, you over. But still, uh, seventy feet, and it's like I don't even know. I'm assuming seventy feet long, <laughs> ten feet deep. deep. Yeah, because it was just a wall. It's ju- yeah, it's just a wall. In essence, of think comics. the back wall of the lilac room. Really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They own it for eighteen grand. Wow! Uh, you could own it. F- you can own the whole lilac room for eighteen grand. grand. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it'll be Flower City oh, Comic Con star. and Mile High Comics. No, no, Flower City Comic Con presents Mile High Comics with some panels. <laughs> That's about it. That would be the way it would work. Yeah. So, yes, please come to Rochester. Type thing. I, I, I'll, I'll do. It. I'll call them. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, get on that. But I, and and they had been going to San Diego Comic Con for forty four years. Yeah, see, that's that, that to me. Just, that shows me bad business sense because if you have such a a, a, and not to, a perennial not, not favorite, not to knock SDCC because no, they're, because they're, huge they're and obviously doing something like, a lot better than we are. That, does it get to the point where it doesn't matter to them anymore? You know, and it, it, that's the thing is it always should. That's yeah. it, it, I don't if, know. If we ever if we ever start treating people like that, then we've done something wrong. Mm-hmm. That's all I got to say. But that's my commentary on that. Hey Dolly, do you got eighteen grand for seventy feet? I do not, but no. I'm she got the one eight thing cents. I, I like about <laughs> this. I get excited about San Diego Comic Con. It's because all the announcements come out. Like they wait for D twenty three Expo for Disney, and mm-hmm. you get all the announcements for that. And then mm-hmm. you get San Diego Con, and like you get all this 
fun nerd information. There have been seriously some good out. trailers coming out too the past couple of days. I, mean, I posted a few of them to the Marvel. Facebook. Yeah. They What's that? They announced the Captain Marvel. Movie. Did they really? Mm-hmm. I missed and that one. She's yep. going to be taking place in the 90s. Really? Yes. So it's Okay. Be, and that's Brie Larson, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, Brie Larson is Captain so Marvel. I'm I'm interested in that. So okay. I like finding out all these little fun things. Like again, I love so Archer, so they uh, announced the Archer's new season uh-huh. is going to take place. I, well, I saw the latest Justice League trailer. I saw what uh, other trailer did I see? I posted a few of them to our Facebook. Thor. Thor, Thor thank you. Thor, Thor mm-hmm. Ragnarok. Yes, I did see that one. That was funny. <laughs> It was, it was funny, especially the tail end of the, the trailer when it's just Thor and Hulk talking, and, and Hulk's like, I, I'm like fire. I'm, I'm big, smoldering fire. Okay, Hulk. Yeah, whatever, Hulk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we actually saw it in Russian first. Yeah. I saw yeah. international trailer get posted. I'm like, all right, let's see what this is all about. And they're all speaking in the, with the Russian dub. I'm like, oh, I don't understand this. Damn. Okay. <laughs> um, so, okay, Captain Marvel is going to be set in the 90s. I wonder what that's going to do to Marvel mm-hmm. continuity. I really do, because... Origin story? Well, yeah, they'll probably do that, but how is it going to fit into the MCU? And how you know because she's supposed to feature at in Infinity War. I know that's why it's. I I get fascinated by things. I'm yeah, like, how is this going to work? It's going to be interesting to see those interviews and whatnot. Cool. See, what the, else? The, the one ahead. thing, Captain Marvel. The first thing I think of when I think of Captain Shazam. Marvel is Shazam. <laughs> yeah, you DC think of the DC character. title. Yeah, you know, formerly Fawcett, and so when I hear Captain Marvel, I. Oh yeah, that's and I I read the the Marvel book, but my first instinct because there's also news about a Shazam, <clears throat> excuse me, a Shazam movie with uh, and I get The Rock who is going to play they Black Adam. Mm-hmm. That he's not going to he's Shazam, not going to be in though. the Shazam movie. Do we have Shazam? Do we have a guy who's doing that yet? Not that I he's know. In the cast. Of. So we just I, we know more about the villain than we do about the hero. Yeah, that's interesting. That's yeah, fair. But that's they, I mean, it was fun to see that they officially like. It's official. He's not going to be the Rock. Shazam. Yeah, yeah, he's Black Adam, and so I'm wondering who's going to be Billy Batson slash Captain Marvel. Shazam. Hmm. Because there was that TV show that I loved in the seventies. Back in the seventies. Yeah. yeah. When when basically the DC stars, you know, mm-hmm. owned seventies Saturday morning television. Yeah. ISIS and and uh, strangely a hero named ISIS. Yes, Back in the seventies. Well, the Egyptian goddess. Yeah, she came a long time before the uh, the morons in the the Middle East. Sure did. So I have a friend of mine who's an e- loves Egyptology. She loves studying it. She loves, you know, everything about Egyptology: pyramids, pharaohs, the works, the, the fashion, the the hieroglyphics, the history of it. And her license plate actually had ISIS on it with other, you know. Mm. So I'm not throwing Did her under the bus. To... She she finally just buckled and had it changed recently because it, she was getting so much shit for it. You know. It's, can't she should have said, out. it yeah. says is is. Yeah, is is. is. <laughs> yeah. Like at at. Thank at, you. At. Yeah. <laughs> it's an at at. It was was. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh huh. So where else we go? Where are we going here? Where are we going today? We're going to talk about some other things or are we going to talk about the trailers that we've seen? We've got a new Stranger Things trailer. Stranger I Things trailer. I, I missed it. Tell us about it, Beck. Ooh, okay. So we've got a new monster, but apparent from what it's looking like in the new trailer, only Will can see it. And poor Will's kind mm. of just caught in the flashbacks. Okay. Didn't he it like seems... start to see something at the end of the first mm-hmm. season? Is that yeah? It's kind of following that. We've, it seems like we've got a new mad scientist. Okay. The actor of whom, according to the Binghamton University Instagram page, is apparently an alumni. Oh. Of so SUNY Binghamton. A local boy. Yeah. Girl. Boy or girl? Boy. Boy. Local boy. Very um, nice. We've got the kids decked out as the Ghostbusters. Oh, smashing. Yes, with the Ghostbusters theme playing in the background. Nice. Oh, Nick will be happy about that. Our local Ghostbuster, he's going to be he's going to be really mm-hmm. pleased about that. Oh, so. is it just another another oh, yeah. Go yeah. Ghostbusters? And it's uh, featuring Michael Jackson's thriller. I heard there's going to be another one working out, yeah. They're, are they working on a sequel to Ghostbusters now? I saw so I did recently I've about heard. it that they're talking about because um, next year is the 35th anniversary I okay. believe of the original movie but and they've announced that they are going to make 2019 um, yeah they're going to make a, right. a movie or something but they haven't um, officially it gonna... said if it's going to be animated or live action oh okay so they haven't decided if it's going to be the, the the current caster or something else yeah mm. uh oh <laughs> it's oh, just Dolly I. Know. I, I it just bothers me. Everyone calls it a reboot. It's it's again the nerd in me with like uh-huh. the semantics of like average and mean, and it's like reboot and 
remake are two different things. Reboot is when you re- you continue the storyline mm-hmm. from the original, mm-hmm. like Jurassic World did. It was a reboot, and then remake is when you. 2009 make a Star whole Trek. Completely different. Can story. I tell you, I loved the cartoon <clears throat> reboot. Yes, <laughs> that, that, that one was awesome. I love the cartoon. Are you? My chair Are all broke. the chairs broke breaking? It. My chair broke on me here. <laughs> Hang on a second. You guys talk talk about yourself. Talk about oh, no, but it was like that was like one of like my favorite cartoons. I'm like I think I was still like in my 20s when it, it, it came out. But I got it. I'm Are good. you sure? Yeah. Yep. I I have a uh, English major, political science minor, so I actually know how to engineer a chair. There we go. Hopefully. I feel better about myself now. <laughs> Boom. Right to the floor. Yeah, well, that's coming. <laughs> like Canada. <laughs> One tequila, two oh, st- tequila. <laughs> Stop. We were visiting my cousin who lives up in Ottawa a few years back, and she has had an old dining room set. And I was sitting in the chair, just sitting there minding my own business, chatting with my cousin, and all of a sudden the chair gave out from under me. And I'm sitting on the floor, and the chair is going in six different directions. And this one has not – he has failed to let me forget that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he just likes to bring we up. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, we've got lots of stories about even Ian that we can bring up. Oh, I know. I have made and your, uh, yeah, and your mad spelling the skills. skills. <laughs> so you might want to stupid. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's Bob. Bob's. <laughs> yep. 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 Yeah. He's turning red, so we'll yeah. we'll divert. So, like, so yeah. So there's um, and it's like just going back to some of the other cartoons. It's like um, uh, Transformers, Beast Wars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that one knows. is much better than some of the other Transformers movies. <laughs> Transformers. Um, or at least cartoon series, but we like Beast Wars. Yeah, I, I mean, that's. I think that's where I'm at with DC right now. Mm-hmm. All I watch is the animated movies. Like, I finally watched Young Justice. Justice. I love Young Justice. Oh, they announced Season the, 3. Oh, yes, <laughs> they, they announced both that, too. They both went in. <laughs> Season 3, Young Justice. Oh, I mean, that announcement's been they, out for a little while now. Well, no, they announced, like, the, they announced the way the, team? the characters are going to yeah, look Yeah, they got new character like designs. That. Yes, that was announced. New character that. designs? <laughs> Beautiful. <Yes>. Nice. <laughs> and also, like, new characters. Could you look okay. Them? They've got, um, what's her name? What's her name? I love her. I love her. She's she's like, she's I love what's, what's her name. What's her name is my favorite. She's, like, one of the girls, I think, one of the girls who's either, like, became Batgirl. Oh, uh, the, the Barbara, Barbara Gordon? Gordon? No, no. Uh, Later Stephanie one. Brown? I think, yeah. Oh, she's going to be in it? Who she was before she became Batgirl. Oh, I see. I'm trying to remember the name. Oh, I don't, I don't know enough about the DC Katrina stuff. Katrina Robinson. Are you just firing off names for the fun of it? Yes, I'm trying to jog her memory. Well, All right. there's see. Arouette. Arouette, Tracy. Yep. Well, I've got uh, Young Justice up here right now. Okay. So, spoiler, that was her name. Spoiler? Stephanie Brown is spoiler. Yes. She originally appears briefly as a civilian in season two. And Arouette was previously a civilian who was was season one by uh, Green Arrow and... Arouette? No. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. And then uh, season season three editions, um, Roy Harper is Arsenal. Okay. He's coming in in season three. He appeared I, in season two. I'm I'm vaguely curious show. how they co- how DC comes up with its naming conventions is very interesting. Arrowette. I'm going to chalk Arrowette right up there with Matter Eating Lad. No. <laughs> Matter, Matter Eating, Eating Lad. Matter Matter Eater Lad. Matter Eater Lad. He's a member of the Legion of Superheroes in yep. the 30th century. He'd just start eating everything he, in sight. Okay, and strangely whatever. enough, he came from the planet Bismol. Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> was it pink? Oh, I sure don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Uh, I'm talking about Dr. comics. Dr. All right, so uh, Young Justice season three is coming out. I enjoyed Young Justice. That was a good series. I think I'm going to have to um, start watching it. Stranger Things season two. We've also got uh, season three of um, Voltron Legendary Defenders. Oh, coming good, out. Oh, good. August fourth, it's coming. I'm enjoying that. When is uh, that's it? a good August series. Fourth? That's what I heard. That I swear. Oh, hold on. Vol- August fourth. Voltron season three. That's going up. Have you seen season two yet, Ian? No. I watched it one weekend. Shows Lotar and a new Black Lion plot. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Hold on. He got too cocky. We chopped off his arm. Sorry. Oh <laughs> that it, That's already happened, dude. Wait, oh, wait, release wait. date. Hold on. Other one. Yes, August. You're right. Check out the trailer. Mm-hmm. I think there's like a second new trailer Five out. Lions. <gasps> Lotar has arrived. He says if they don't have the Black Lion, they can't farm Voltron. How does they know Ooh. that they don't have the Black Lion? Seriously, Lothar, the son of Zarkon, has arrived. And he was he was more interesting as a, as in the in the classic '80s series. He was more interesting than People his. People are pu- hoping he's going to be like that. Okay, like just flamboyant and yeah. everything. Okay. We're just 
Straight, the, the story, straight from DreamWorks, it picks up in the wake of Zarkon's defeat and Shiro's disappearance as the Paladins struggle to move forward with no one able to pilot the Black Lion or the ability to form Voltron. The team must quickly devise a plan as the ascension of Prince Lotor and his generals pulls the team into a perilous game of cat and mouse to test your, their unity and abilities more than ever. I think that's going to be good because that's been a good story mm-hmm. so far. They've done a really good job with that series. E- even they my little ones like, can we rewatch Voltron? You know what I want? I want more character development on Lance. Okay. I feel like poor Lance is just... Poor Lance is getting pocketed. Off, he's written off as like the comic. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Is, like, is Lance the uh, red lion? Current blue. No, blue. blue. Okay. Current blue. Yeah, we, we. Like, I, like, well, they, if they're going to follow the series, then eventually the Keith will probably get the black. You know, if they follow the old so. soul. And then, then, then Lance will get the red. And then Allura no, gets the blue. In, Allura, in the, yeah. No, in the trailer, you, I swear Lance is in the red line. Okay. It's like red in the background, but he's still wearing the blue paladin suit. Well, that's the thing. They were all. That was the thing that always threw me off in the 80s when I was watching it as a high school kid myself, mm-hmm. is that the, 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 the pilots, the... the, the the space protectors, they were not called paladins at the time, <laughs> uh, the, uh, were not, the space explorers, they were not, their, their outfit was not matched to the lion. Like Keith wore red and Lance wore blue mm-hmm. and Pidge wore green and Hunk wore yellow. Great. And then, of course, Allura was so stereotypical. She wore pink, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but the only ones that matched up were, were Hunk and Pidge. And then the rest of them were all shuffled around. And so yeah. you're like, okay, what's this all about? I guess, you know, whatever. They're, they're comfortable. That's fine. But... I'm wondering if that's what they're doing is they're kind of like patterning themselves after the 80s, but in a certain they're telling the story slightly different, but going in the same path. I don't know. Okay, so the news, the um, trailer at SDCC, um, there was also an exclusive con trailer that featured shots that weren't in the trailer that's on like Den of Geek. Uh-huh. So the shots included flashback shots of Zarkon and L4 as paladins. Mm-hmm. We see them near a comet streaking down towards the planet. There's a shot of Zarkon possibly killing L4. Mm-hmm. No. That, that's in the trailer that, that you that people well, at Well, that's SDC the big reveal see. is that Zarkon was the original Black Paladin. Right. I know. I'm yeah, just yeah, so that, that was kind of neat. And then Lotor says, if they don't have the Black Lion, how come they can't farm Voltron? There's a ton of action, including the Yellow Lion doing a screwdriver through an asteroid. Nice. It says, Allura walks. Yeah, hunk. Allura walks away from the blue lion and the shield goes down. She turns to look at it. An eye opens that looks like Shiro's. Um, I've seen... And the later tease of the third season was shown that didn't show his face, but we did hear his voice along with clips of Zarkon's forces taking out a planet's civilization. That video is currently not available online. Okay, well, if we if it comes up out online, we're going to put it up on the yes. FC3 Facebook. It is August 4th, 2017. It's only seven episodes but the good news is that there will be a fourth season following in October. Oh, who, there man. nobody. Right on top of each other. August and October. Woo! I saw a photo of um, Matt Holt. And who's that? Uh, he's Pidge's older brother. Okay. That she's looking for. Okay. And like, Oh, c- c- because that was the whole thing. Is she, Yeah, that's she, why she was like out with the, the antenna. Lo- mm-hmm. Okay. That's been Pidge's little subplot is looking for her brother. There yeah, was nobody to exists, pilot the black line. Okay. And he might just be the next season just hyped. Nice. nice. Well, See, I love the, the excitement that's coming out of Becca right now. I that's know, just so cool. Growing. That's Woo-hoo. awesome. And, and, you know, it's been a really cool series. I mean, I, I have enjoyed the original it. Yeah. Voltron, yeah. Voltron episode hosted by Becca. <laughs> I, remember, I remember back when I was in college and we were, we were laughing about all the good, car- the, the good cartoons that in the anime that we were just starting to get used to back in the 80s and whatnot. And um, a buddy of mine decided he was going to design the Paisley Pale. Uh, he was the Paisley Lion. Paisley? Yeah, the Paisley lion, which could basically fit in for any of the other lions because it was so it was so fluid. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and he was very proud of himself for his idea. He felt it was very forward thinking. And uh, mm. but yeah, the the Paisley lion, which would, could take the place of any of the other five, you know. That's a very flexible lion. Yep. So <laughs> I was like, all right, dude, <laughs> have fun with that. But yeah, more in depth on Lance. He talk because he talks about like I'm the sharpshooter, but then he's like complaining. He like. Talks about being like the seventh wheel, mm-hmm. and people on the internet have taken that line and just run with it. Oh, really? In theorizing and everything, uh-huh. and especially you look at in the first episode where they have like the mind meld helmets on or whatever. Okay, and it's got the photo and it's just his giant family. There has to be some effect of him going from living with all these people to living with like six other people mm-hmm. who don't always pay attention to him. Usually, kind of brush him off because he's the jokester. Uh huh. It's got to have some impact on the poor kid. All right. I, as an only child, I wouldn't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> and there was silence. Okay. Ian, Ian sends. Oh, I, I missed my cue. I should have played the cricket. There it is. 
<laughs> Ian hands me a note, goes, there was no one to pilot, pilot the Black Lion, so they had to call an Uber. Stop. Hey, uh, stop, stop, stop. He's asking for one. There it is. <laughs> that was just wrong. <laughs> it's the head. I think that's why he didn't say it. He wrote it down and handed it to me so I could be the one to take the brunt of that. <laughs> so, so what else are we looking forward to? What well, are, there's, I mean, there's things that we're not looking forward to. But <laughs> tell me, t- okay, tell yeah. me something because, you're not looking you know, forward DC to. and their movie verse. I mean, they're rushing, they're rushing all their storylines. Mm-hmm. So, of course, the Flash movie is going to be Flashpoint. Yeah, they just announced that. Really? Yeah. Mm. It's gonna so be th- that's okay. why, again, I'm like, they're rushing their storylines. I mean, there's so much to do in there. Mm-hmm. They just did Flashpoint in the TV show, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I love the animated version. I was oh, my yeah, that's that great. That yeah. I wonder if it's still on um, There was a new Justice League trailer that came out because of San Diego. And, and I posted it up to the FC3 board. Mm-hmm. So it's out there. So if your listeners are interested, just track it down. It's also on YouTube, so it shouldn't be easy or it shouldn't be too hard to find. I think um, it looks good. I think it looks okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure. I see here things people have gotten. I'm wondering what's the bigger thing that that Justice League has to worry about itself or the people's already negative opinion of it? Yeah, the perception before it the even perception exists. I think is going to kill the movie before the movie actually kills itself. That's the thing. I think this is going to be a decent movie. Then there's the ongoing. Rumors or truth or whatever uh-huh. that Ben Affleck's already bailed on being Batman well, or been kicked off of being Batman. He or- released, uh, I, I was reading, I was keeping up on that over the past couple of weeks, but there was an article that came out just yesterday where he's like, no, I'm I'm here, I'm sticking with it. I, I don't know what everybody's saying, but I, everything's okay by me. I'm, I'm good. Well, the rumors, I think, started because he backed out of directing the okay. Batman movie. And he was going to direct the solo Batman movie. Right. And they then they scrapped of, his script that he wrote. They, well, they, they scrapped everything. On, yeah. I mean, they wouldn't give him a good script. So, I mean, I can respect Ben Affleck for that because he mm-hmm. didn't want to just put out just Crap. another crappy yeah, DC want, movie. Mm-hmm. He wanted Martha. a good script. <laughs> what? Your mother's name is Martha? <laughs> My name is Martha, too. I'm going to say Strangely, you, not, you know what would have been hilarious? Has anybody seen the new Spider-Man yet? Yes. yes. Not yet. I had it's to. awesome, but it would have been it would have been even more yeah. awesome if uh, Peter Parker and uh, Michael Keaton's Vulture both had Nat May. <laughs> <laughs> I loved him. Michael he was Keaton. great. Yeah. Awesome. He was Michael terrifying. Keaton is awesome. That's He's, the thing. I know, but he terrified me. Yeah, and he's like, supposed to. That's... And I'm an adult, and I was terrified of, yeah. of Michael Keaton. Everybody's, like, from my generation, everybody's so used to Michael Keaton, the comic actor. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and then, then he I'm threw like, everybody off oh. with Batman. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. wait a minute, Michael Keaton should not be able to play this part. And then he nailed it. And, 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 uh, and then definitely in uh, Spider-Man. Right. It was just like, mm-hmm. whoa. Right. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Birdman. Mm-hmm. He did Birdman. Did he? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I haven't yeah. seen that movie. One with Emma Stone. I think it's interesting. Mm-hmm. He went from Birdman to playing the Vulture. <laughs> <laughs> There's a stuff. His First superhero, he was a bat. His superhero <laughs> days are not over yet. So he, he was a is bat, Birdman. and then he was a bird, and now he's a Vulture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Birdman was more, it was not it was a really drama. Yeah, a comic. A, oh. No, it was, it was a mental, like, yeah. it was all in his head, everything was going on. It was an interesting movie. It wasn't Birdman, but it I've was an interesting good. movie. Yeah. I'll watch it just for Emma Stone. Have you seen the new uh, oh, Defenders I'm... trailer? Yes, I, I did that and I posted it's it. On my list. It was the trailer itself. If if the trailer is any indication of the series, the series is going to be so cool. And one thing I like is that the series is only going to be eight episodes as opposed to the twelve. Good, or they're 13. not going to drag it out. Good, yeah, yeah. Kinda Which sad. you you think it, it. you think there'd be more episodes because there's more characters. You have I to think what they're going to do is they're going to try and tell the tighter story. At this point, they're going to try and show. You know, without the fluff, they're gonna they're gonna just get to the point at this. And Sigourney Weaver is the villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sigourney Weaver oh, yeah. is the villain. I'm gonna say that again one more time. Sigourney Weaver is the villain. Holy Moses! What? What? Yeah. What is that all about? That is gonna be so cool. What's oh, Jack Horseman name? reference. What? What? <laughs> What's the villain's name? We don't know the character name yet, do we? Oh, oh hold on a second. Hold we'll on. see if we can find oh, that. Maybe. Uh, Alexandra. The head of an ancient... Or- oh, she's the head of hand, I guess. Oh, boy. Uh, Weaver describes the character as really smart, very in charge, and more of an adversary than a villain. Uh-huh. She oh. is in full-on power shawl, sub-zero bitch mode. Oh, goody. <laughs> That's descriptive. Like in Heather's mega bitch. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, terms like ice queen that are often thrown at women who aren't complete. Okay, so she's... Uh, so trying to avoid the cliche portrayal yeah. of Ice Queen. Yeah. Sophisticated, sophisticated 
intellectual, dangerous. I'm sorry, I can only say a bunch of adjectives mm. right now. Okay. Her character is a very Everything powerful I'm force not. in New York City. I do like in the trailer how they they return back to the the dojo there and uh, um, Iron Fist is trying to feed everybody. He's bring he's catering in the dinner again like he has been in the past and and. Uh, they're like, no, we're not going to sit down and eat. No, this, what is that, shrimp? And and then Daredevil's actually, he's got the blindfold over his face, and he's picking out, no, that guy's got this, that guy's got this. And, and Jessica just looks at him, you're a freak. You know? <laughs> it's it's definitely a good dynamic between the four of them. I think it's going to be a very interesting series. And that's coming out, right? That's coming out soon. It's yeah. August, um, hold on. So we only got a few more weeks. 18th. Yeah. August 18th. August 18th. Yeah. Hell, you know, by the time this thing is airing, we might actually be watching it already. That's awesome. Oh, and it was fantastic. And it was awesome. It was amazing. And then there was the thing, and then the other thing happened. I love that no. thing. That was a great thing. It was a great thing. you see when the thing. guy kicked the other guy? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And then the other guy punched the other guy? Can and you stabbed. believe Daredevil could see the whole time? He could. He was, <laughs> he was making it up. He was making it up. They were s- always eye. What were they called? Eye. You put them in your eye, and they changed the eye color. Contact. Oh, contacts. Contacts. Yeah, it was just contacts that were, yeah, okay. He was always moving his eyes. People just didn't notice. Yes. And then um, I know that Iron Fist is getting a new showrunner, right? Is and he's new? got a season two. Yeah, he got a season two, and, he's and, a, a, new and a new showrunner. Show so hopefully that'll make that that story come back alive a little bit more because people really down the hell out of Iron Fist. It, it just went too long. I think they could have done more with it, but you know that that's right. It just it dragged. They rushed the production. Drag. I mean, it was a and good the, story, and, and there like, was the parts of Luke Cage of that went good. too long. Mm-hmm. Luke Cage ran out of story, and this kept going. For yeah. more episodes. That's why I felt with Luke Cage. I mm-hmm. felt like Iron Fist had a good story. It's just the. What do you think of the two seasons of Daredevil so far, though? Both excellent. I love both ap- um, seasons of Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Electra, I'm not like I know she's like an amazing, like martial mm-hmm. artist, and she like has all these like, black belts and everything. I just think she looks like she's gonna like keel over at any minute from like starvation. Yeah, she needs a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> And now Jessica Jones. She, they're firing up a season two of Jessica Jones. Yes, Did I, I hear hope that? That, that, uh, might, that may be my favorite of the Marvel Netflix you won't show. Let okay. me watch it. Yeah, I'm, I, can't, I can't. Yeah, I'm a little hesitant it, to like, let them watch a lot of this stuff just yet. I stopped at episode five of Daredevil. Uh huh. Yeah. And then the second season was announced like R. Yeah. My dad was like, stop watching. And I was like, okay, episode five, the guy's head got impaled on a spike. I'll stop for now. I want to watch <laughs> that one. No, <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I just want to see Jessica Jones. I'm that the kid that like, giggles and the head rolls across the screen. <laughs> That's me. No, sometimes I'm okay with it, but it's like, really you. gruesome. High I'm just five. like, <laughs> out for the count. Dolly, do not influence Ian. Ian, do not influence Dolly. That's yeah. enough. And don't leave me in the middle pair. of it. <laughs> you can ask my, my brother. I'm a bad influence. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you share the same bloodline. You're both Puerto Rican, so. Well, my nephew in the shower um, recites Co- uh, Cobra Kai. Okay. That's great. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Yeah. Because we do Taekwondo. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg, Johnny! <laughs> Sweep the leg! <laughs> I laugh during the Saw movies. I The fact that you've seen those makes me very unhappy. I will just throw that I out there for nothing. I have seen them. I've seen them. I, I never watched watch them. Um, <clears throat> full I've seen alumni one horror movie and I directed them. One of the movies. Uh huh. So there's a lot of good stuff coming out. There's a lot of stuff I have not seen yet. I, I still have to this date. Why? I don't know. I have. It's just no a matter time. of timing. I have not had a chance to see Wonder Woman. I have not had a chance to see Spider Man. What are the other good ones that are out right now? I want to see Planet of the Apes. Planet um, of the Apes. I haven't Dunkirk, seen that. Or Dunkirk. Um, Valerian. Dunkirk. I'm watching that. Valerian. Valerian. I'm watching that next. Valerian year. just came out. The guy who did my mm-hmm. tattoo, Jason Ferguson. Which, by the way, my tattoo looks freaking awesome because Jason Ferguson is amazing. Uh, he was talking. You know, I'm, he's heading off to Valerian, and he goes, "I'm just, I'm so looking forward to this." And, and Valerian is cool because Valerian is like a throwback to for comic book mm-hmm. lovers. This it's a commonly attributed. It's a French graphic novel or a French comic series. That came out like at the early 1900s. It's commonly kind of pointed at by some comic historians as the the grandfather of the entire industry. Huh. Superheroes and comic strips and things like that kind of started evolving because of of this this strip. And I know that the name wasn't Valerian; it was something else. But Valerian is the the main character, and so it's commonly said that this is so. This was like the granddaddy of of comic books, hmm. and to have a movie based on that. Made by the guy who made Fifth Element, which okay. Fifth Element is one of my favorite friggin' movies. You've heard me talk about Hence that on several I have occasions. To watch it. Oh, absolutely. So Luke Besson mm-hmm. behind this. Oh yeah, I'm I'm all in. Yeah, my, I showed my brother a trailer. I'm like, I want to watch this movie. He's uh-huh. like, oh, let me know when you're watching it. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, this has got to happen. This has got to happen soon. I'm watching it. <laughs> can you, can oh, I come? Rucker Hauer? So you just said Rucker Hauer's in Valerian? Yes. I did not know that. As the president of the World State Federation. That's cool. That is very cool. Rihanna is Bubble, a shape-shifting entertainer. Yep, I've seen her in the trailers. Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke I've seen in the trailers. Uh, John Goodman is the voice of some. Yeah, there's a lot of, of CGI characters, so I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of voice acting going on in it. A lot of motion the- capture. If there's motion capture, I'm almost anticipating to see Andy Serkis on the on the cast list because uh, he's like the grandmaster of motion cap acting these they're days. They're talking about an Oscar Clive nomination Owen. for Planet of the Apes for him. Well, the man is impressive. I've seen him do he doing uh, spots. There was I just saw it the other day on YouTube, as a matter of fact, where he was doing this whole thing about what it means to be a motion capture actor, and it's not just voices, but how you you do the the physicality, mm-hmm. and then you're in the suit, and you have to kind of imagine where you are and. And he's he was doing um a bit of how he jumps into the Caesar Caesar mm-hmm. character for Planet of the Apes, and th- you know he's he's done Gollum, mm-hmm. he's done all of these these huge these huge parts throughout movies in the past ten years, and you're like this this man is probably one of the greatest actors of the current generation because of just the ability his ability to morph into these various characters. You wouldn't know it's him. You, you don't. I mean, he, his, he's even able to do the voices, and it's it's impressive as hell. This guy is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, any, any, I would not in, not be surprised if he pops up on the list for Valerian. Well, what was the name again? I was Andy Circus, S E R K I S. Circus, Circus. I don't know. Circus, Ola. Circus Maximus. Now, <laughs> one of the things I'm looking forward to, and I've mentioned it in the past podcast, but the uh, riff tracks, which is the oh, Mystery that's coming Science up. Theater 3000 yeah. style mocking of uh, some of. Some sci-fi or what they're doing the Five Doctors on August seventeenth. I know that, and I will no, be going. Black Panther. Sorry. When's Black Panther come out? Um, twenty eighteen. Well, the, the guy he just mentioned. Oh, Chad. Going to be in okay. Andy Serkis oh, as okay. Ulysses Claw. In Black Panther. Right. He is not listed. He, he had the in, cameo in well, not so much a cameo, but the bit part in uh, Avenger, Age of Ultron. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, he is not listed at all in regards to uh, Valerian. Okay. I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised, but where's where's the Rift Tracks Doctor Who going to be? It's it, they're always at Tinseltown, and Tinseltown? usually uh, the Webster Theater also. Okay. So, I, I get a chance to uh, see some old Doctor Who with some help from. Uh, what time is that going to be? It's usually eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yeah. All right. I'm putting so, that on my calendar. I want to go to that. What day was that? August seventeenth. It's a Thursday. Put that in my calendar. I want to say I already had that in my calendar. Dolly, what you thinking of? Oh, I'm trying to think. Yes, if I'd all be day. Available. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's listed as all day. Oh, excellent! It's a marathon. <laughs> I'm looking at you, and you have that face. <laughs> you know, I'm like but, August. I'll still be at Orange Belt, so I won't be able to go. I saw that they were doing one on the 24th. Oh, I see. Also. It's a replay. How's that coming along? The one on the 7th. It's going to be a green belt in September. I'm testing. All right. I'm super excited. Now, where, where's green belt in the in the path of things? Is that like first, second, third belt, fourth belt? It's, I move from low belt class to high belt class. Okay. So I'm transitioning. I get to actually start sparring. So what other color children. belts do you have so far? <laughs> um, you have the white. White, yellow, orange, and then I'll be low green. Okay. Congratulations. I'm super excited about that. Nice. nice. So, the children. Uh, yeah. Punt. I get to start sparring. Punt babies. We'll offer Ian up for you. <laughs> yeah. Yay. If you need a target dummy. Or just <laughs> a regular. on the dummy. Or just a regular dummy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get no, him to sorry, spell dummy. Hey, hey, there it is. I knew that was coming oh, well. back at yep. me. Yep. I knew that was coming back at me somewhere along the line. Where yeah. are we at, Billy? We are at... Four minutes? No, 38 minutes. 38 <laughs> minutes. 39. Did you not hit record yeah. again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's our practice. It's That's our practice conversation. conversation. Now, 39 minutes. We're at. 39 I minutes. quit. All right. That's I was just right. wondering. That's good. All right, so we've got a lot of things that we have not yet done this summer, things that we are looking forward to this summer. We're not looking forward to. Things that we're not looking forward to this <laughs> summer. And and I, I don't know. I just I don't understand the Justice League hate at this point. I get... That their track record is not strong. Flash. Well, you, have, we, you know, other than a quick cameo cyborg. in in mm, uh, Batman vs Superman, I, I, well, I don't, why why cyborg? Because I think, I think he looks okay. I'm gonna I have, have to movie check out scrapped. the new one, the new mm-hmm. trailer, because the last trailer is just looked bad. 
It looked very cartoon animated, very cartoonish. Yeah. yeah. But I do like Ezra Miller as, as Barry Allen so far. There's that one scene at the top of the roof, and they're all talking to Commissioner Gordon, and he turns around, and he looks away at something, and he looks back, and they're all gone except for Barry Allen. He's sitting there in his Flash outfit, and he's like, wow, they they, they do disappear like that. that, that that's rude. And then he, zip, he zips off. You know, so it was just, you can see the kind of, he's got that, that Barry Allen kind of innocent comedic look at the world. And, uh, you know, and so I'm looking forward to seeing it. I, I think Justice League will be a decent movie. Will it blow the doors off of things? I don't think so. Will it be bad? I hope not. Well, Marvel's not perfect. You know, Marvel I, is not perfect. Uh, Marvel throws some some gopher balls out there. And if, then not necessarily bad, but in retrospect, mm-hmm. Doctor Strange maybe not as good as, as a bunch of the other okay. movies. All right. We can get into that some other time. Okay. Definitely. But... Um, what else is coming? Do we have anything coming up this fall? Anything big coming? Uh, Thor Ragnarok is coming out in the fall. Yeah. Yes. That's on Jules' you know, birthday. Um, She's it's funny. Upset about I that. just saw, um, it's like not sci fi related or whatever, but I just saw a preview for um, the movie Kidnap with, uh, Hale, with Halle Berry. I okay. hate those sleeping kids. That, um, they must have been like in a park or something and whatever, and then all of a sudden her child has been kidnapped and, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. and she goes full postal. Oh, so is it like Taken instead of Liam Neeson and Halle Berry? I think something similar mm. to that regard. Right. So. Interesting. Then just like I, I'm not aware of that movie's existence until I, just now. I, I wasn't aware until I saw it this morning. Okay. I'm looking forward to Dark Tower. Dark Tower with Idris Elba, yeah. And yeah. actually speaking. Idris Elba. That's, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. fine. Don't worry about me. I've mentioned this before, but the, I'm just bragging. I'm going to see Stephen King in September. So. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> I'm Aren't you so get jealous. A book too? Yeah, we get a free book, uh, possibly autographed. Nice. So that is gonna be cool. Still weigh in your luggage. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be Don't right up in Hudson, on. New York. Don't Bart mind that carry on. It's just Dolly. It's heavy. <laughs> I only brought a couple t-shirts. <laughs> t-shirts. Just a couple. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Two hundred and fifty-three. I think he's got more than that. In half. It's somewhere around that. Somewhere yeah, around that, there. That's actually a really good guess on the number. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you had the uh, different T-shirt a day thing yeah. work for a while there, but I've got a bunch of new ones since oh, good. I finished that run. Good. Did you get the FC three T-shirts yet? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've worn uh, I've worn them both. I've got the Doctor Who and the Red Power Ranger. Good one, deal. So. Good I need deal. The Doctor Who one still. Okay. I got a couple of them in my car right now. I think. In fact, I'm saving that one for the Rift Tracks with the five Woo-hoo! Doctors. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and wrap this up for now. We'll see okay. everybody next well, week. We're coming up soon on uh, on another episode of the book club, and so we'll. Uh, Which I think we're doing a leverage episode. It's possible we're going to be doing a leverage episode. I know there's a couple of other. Becca's cheering. She must yeah. like leverage. I like leverage. leverage. And I got to watch through the leverage. Sherry and Sybil up. are yeah. definitely binge watching leverage. Good. It's back on my list, so and I'll then, have to um, binge again. It, it, before we sign off, I'm can I just ask? Me. Because sure. I. What is leverage? I don't know. I've, I've leverage this one. So is it a geeky thing or is no. it a, it's a crime series crime? of okay. sorts? It, right. It's a matter of all these group. This mastermind, Timothy Hutton, together, Timothy Hutton mm-hmm. pulls together um, a whole bunch of different criminals to go after um, companies and businesses and things like that. It's kind of like the modern day Robin Hood okay. type thing. Almost before like before I watch an episode, yeah. I should at least know what. Uh, and you know, I, I could but, ask, but it sets it all up in the pilot. We said the pilot, okay. and then the Rashomon okay. job were the two that we were going okay. to talk about. It's almost like a crime related Mission Impossible type of a series where they mm-hmm. do obnoxious they do things good. to sting. Mm-hmm. They, you know, they do obnoxious things. They break rules, and they don't care because they're doing something good for somebody who deserves it, and they're beating up bad guys for it. Because when you mentioned when we meant, talked about this before, you mentioned the mm-hmm. Rashomon job, and the first thing I thought of sounds like an episode of Firefly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, really it is, to a degree, you know. So that's that. And so we'll talk more about some other stuff down the road. There's and music. So, and so for, yeah. Okay, so for Are Billy, for Tanya, for Ian, for Becca, for Dolly, for me, and yes, I am Wops. <laughs> this has been Monkey Business for yet another week, and we love having you with us. So thanks again for listening. We are Mighty Monkey, the Mighty Monkey Corporation, purveyors and producers of the Flower City Comic Con. Coming at you June 9th and 10th, 2018 at the Rochester Riverside Convention Center. Like us on Facebook, FC3ROC, and uh, we'll see you next week.